Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Emart, and we're back with another Oculus Rift video. Today, we're going to be using the Dev Kit 2 again to play one of my personal favorites from the Dev Kit 1, Titans of Space. Uh, they've re-released a really cool version of this game. I haven't played it at all yet, but I saw a little preview for it, and it looks incredible. Basically, you uh, sit in this little pod in space and explore the solar system. The first one blew my mind away. I love space. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of space and the universe and all that shit. It's awesome. Um, anyways... I want to dive into this really badly, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Alright, so we're loading up the game. Awesome. Okay, so here's kind of a menu here. Titan of Space is a short guided tour. Yep, I've already said all that. Um, Alright, so English is highlighted. Uh, Titan of Space, automatic or wait? Let's do wait. So basically we control uh, as it goes from location to location. So let's just look around in here. Wow. Oh, man, I, 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 I'm serious. Like, these just floating in space demos are so, um, like, therapeutic for me. Like, this is just what I want to do all day. It's just like, I, you, anyways, I, let's just get into this, but let's see. Uh, okay, press enter when ready. Or start the tour, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my hands here. Oh my god. Oh. This looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> and okay, a really cool thing with this is when you look down at your this bot you can see I see like a body. It's really trippy. And for people who uh, have never tried the rift, usually they look down and they don't even like notice. They like it just looks like their body to them, you know? It's like, oh it's my body. And then they try to move their hand, they're like, whoa, what? Like it's crazy. Um, oh man, they, 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 he did, or the developer of this did a really good job of uh, making the pod look a lot cooler. I really feel like I'm just gonna a chair kind of floating. Look, look at the design on that. It's so cool. Oh, it's just like the emptiness. Okay, and then the sun is so big. It takes up this whole field of view. Oh, wait, why does it go black? See that? Weird. Oh, okay, let's go. So I think I just hit space. Oh, well, that's to zoom in. Wow, the earth textures look great. Um, oh, so it's the play button. There you go. This is a miniature of earth. Wow. The textures look great in this. Oh, damn. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's like you, I can almost feel the heat beaming off of the sun. It's so big. Wow. It takes up your whole field of view. Oh my god. Oh, autopilot? Alright, let's try autopilot for a second. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Oh, and this is cool. It shows your uh, frames per second down here. It also shows your progress within the, uh, the tour. That's, that's awesome. That's an upgrade from before. I don't know why the planets are floating in like that, but... <laughs> Get to Jupiter. Oh, the music's kicking in. Wow. Hello, Mars. It's really cool. Oh, man. All right, so this might be a kind of a longer video, but I I'd really like to kind of go through a lot of this. Oh, nice. You can see a little. What's the Phobos? Is that like an asteroid? I'm not even sure. Really cool. The music obviously is just like, so it's so perfect for a space demo. Just like that, the vastness and epicness of what space really is. It's just so cool. Gosh. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like nerdgasming so hard over this. I, I love, I love space. This is so cool. Wow, look at that. You can see like asteroids and debris. Jupiter is so fucking big. Oh my God. The scale of the planets are way bigger in this version compared to the uh, original game. So then it has all this info. This is another cool thing is, this just goes to show how um, how much potential there is for the Rift to be used within education. Oh my God. Those floating paths is crazy, that's trippy. Um, you know, like, as, like, kids in 20 years are so goddamn lucky, they're gonna be going to class and putting on their Rifts. 
and floating around and like walking on the moon in virtual reality and like taking samples and like, ah, oh, it's just so cool. Wow. Like, I wanna just quit my job and just live here. Oh, wow. My planet's got like green on it, that's awesome. Obviously, I, I say I love space. I'm not like a huge space buff. Um, I'm not the smartest dude. <laughs> I just like space. Um, I know that we wanna go to Titan. The, the ice planet. All right, here we go, Saturn. Wow. I'm gonna try to, uh, just for the sake of the length of the video, I'm gonna kind of speed through these to see uh, if we can get to the end here. The end of the first demo brought you uh, to some stars outside of the our solar system. Uh, it's like Chimanus Majoris, I think is what it's called. Oh, wow, this is great. All right, we're, we're sitting through this whole thing. This is so goddamn cool. And my riff's getting very sweaty. <laughs> I hate when it gets foggy because you, you, you start to miss some things, but... Um, pan. Walnut ship, Saturn's innermost moon orbit. Oh, it's its innermost moon. It's so cool. I need to go through this again and just, like, actually listen to what it's saying. Like, actually study. Gosh. Which one? Mimas, known for resembling the Death Star. That's hilarious. There's liquid water near the surface on that one. There's Titan. It has ice cliffs. The largest of Saturn's moon is the only moon, known moon where there's a where there is a substantial atmosphere, has liquid met- Oh yeah, so Titan, oh, here we go. Titan is ice. I think it's, it has like ice craters, but it also is, um, it's the only other place that has rain, but it doesn't rain water, it rains methane gas, which here obviously is gas, but there it's so, I think it's because it's so cold that it's, uh, it becomes liquid. Oh shit. This music's getting really intense. <laughs> God, I'm, this is like changing my life right now. I'm, oh my God. This is so much better than the original demo. Let's keep going. I was like, what is this supposed to be? It's Uranus. I didn't know it had these rings around it. The only thing that's kind of a bummer is in the old demo, I can look back and see all the other planets. In this one, they kind of float away. It's still cool. It's kind of a different design um, than the last one, but I kind of like being able to look back and be see where I'm at in comparison. Oh, you can see the, uh, the Milky Way. Wow, this looks good. Oh my god, the Milky Way is awesome. More moons. Oh, wow. A lot more of the twisting and stuff, too. This is so incredible. Gosh, this makes you feel like, you know, that the movie Gravity? Like, this is like what it, oh my god. Pretty much. That's pretty much it. Oh, I'm like the happiest person on earth right now. <laughs> I thought my face probably looks so dumb. Gosh. I, we just got to get to the end of this. I want to get, I want to, can you fast forward? That would be cool. If I had the option to, um like skip to certain uh, chapters. You know, say I, say I want to get in the rift and I'm like, oh, I want to study Titan. You know, I'd have to sit through the whole thing until I got there. Um, maybe, maybe there is a way. Um, I just don't, I haven't seen it yet. It's getting quiet again. That's another thing is the music did change in the other one. Oh wait. Pluto and its largest moon. So yeah, Pluto is, um, New Horizons probe getting first look at Pluto in 2015. Nice. So there's a probe going out there. That's crazy. Um, is it because it's a dwarf planet? Is that why it's no longer technically? Oh my God, that Milky Way texture. Look at that. All right, what's happening? Oh shit. Something intense is gonna happen. Oh my god. 
All right, so yeah, let's do 100%. We're already 60% through. Sorry that the length of this is gonna be a little longer than some of my videos, but um, I'm, I'm sitting through this. <laughs> I, I do wish I could get 60 frames on this, but that's all right. There's already a little judder because of the DK2 anyway. Sun, our own star. I feel like it's gonna get nuts after this. 100 billion hydrogen bombs per second. Jesus. Oh boy, here we go. Comparisons of suns. Pollux. Distance from the sun, 33.8 light years. Wow. Seriously, I, I, if someone if someone had a demo of this demo, like in a, um, you know, like at an event, if they had like a heater, in front of the person and it cranked up whenever you got close to the sun that would have that would be so immersive jeez so now we just get compares like there's our sun was massive look how big this fucking thing is rigel rigel <laughs> god it's beautiful the developer of this man like Oh, standing novation for you. This is so good. This is my new favorite demo. Oh my god. Oh, nice. I didn't even see this. So we have a little floating menu. Um, oh, you can rotate the planet? Oh my gosh. We're going we're gonna to try some of this stuff. Orbit the planet, left bumper, left control. Okay, sorry, I'm looking at some of these. Okay, so continue tour. We can zoom in. Um, more info. Adjust speed. Okay, D-pad. Up, down. When it says D-pad, does it mean my arrow keys or is that with the... Uh, with like a controller. Yeah, that's like a contr that's like controller controls. Um, maybe I can't adjust the speed then. Oh, whatever, we'll see. So I'm holding right. Maybe the numpad, whatever. Vi Canis Majoris, baby. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Red Hypergiant, one of the largest known stars in our galaxy. 12 billion suns. Oh my god. Well, we'll never get to that. It's almost 4,000 light years away. It's 270,000 suns put into one. Look at this monster. Like, that's our sun over there. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. Look at this beast. This really puts into perspective how big we are. Well, how small we are. Like, we're, we aren't even dust at this point. At this scale. We aren't even dust. We're like, we're not even atoms of dust. <laughs> Look at this. So it looked like if you have a controller, you can um, control the rotation, the speed, and you can also orbit the planet. So you could just sit there and just orbit a planet for a while, sip a beer and just like, just chill out. So cool. So here's the comparison, we're 80%. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to get consumed. Oh, I also forget. I can lean in. I'm an idiot. Look at it. I, I kind of forgot with the DK2. I can totally... Yeah, I can totally lean in. So cool. Oh, lost track in there. And then look at this. It's like... It just shuts up. It's like... This is us. The universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful... Carl Sagan. Seems like an awful waste of space. Well said, Carl. Seriously. The silence. Solar system distances are expanding. Alright, we're 
we're getting there. Earth's actual orbit. Wow. <laughs> A lot of this video is just me going wow and saying ha ha, <laughs> but it's like, it's mind blowing. We're getting, we're getting near the end here. Here's Wriggle if it were placed at the center of our solar system. It's so big that all the planets would get drawn into it. Like it would get munched. And that's Majoris. Look at that. It reaches the orbit of Saturn from our sun. Jesus. Oh boy, here we go. Warning. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Warning. Oh my god. This is awesome. Oh, damn. Ah. Wow. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Alright, guys. That was incredible. Special thanks to NASA. Yeah, thanks, NASA. <laughs> Um, okay, that was incredible. Let me go ahead and jump out of the rift and uh, we'll end this video. That was amazing. Well, you guys, wow. That was Titans of Space. Very mind-blowing. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because space is something that I love automatically. But seriously, if you have a dev kit too, even if you have a dev kit one or if you don't have a rift at all, anyways, if you have a rift, go try that. Um, if not, look forward to it because... That's the one that it was just released for the dev kit too. Um, I can only imagine that there's going to be a new one released for the consumer version one when that releases hopefully sometime next year. Wow. Mind blown. Like 11 out of 10 on that one. That is so good. And I still have a lot of dev kit two demos to try out, but that run right now, as of today on the date on this video, this is my favorite one for sure. Um, damn. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Um, thank you for sticking through it if you did stick through the whole thing. Uh, that was kind of a bit longer, but I really wanted to sit through that one. Some demos are so good, you just have to play them through. Um, that's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. Uh, also, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any subscribers I can get. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another Dev Kit 2 video. I'll see you then.